good afternoon everyone my name is manju matthew and i am ex trainer of uh, bmax academy kollam branch uh, today i am here in front of you uh, to give you uh, the reading review uh, which was uh, uh, taken for the uh, centralized mock test uh, which was conducted uh, on last uh, saturday so without any delay let's move on to the uh, task so first of all i would like to give you a brief, brief description about reading as you all know we have reading uh, which is one of the uh, modules in ielts uh, test and uh, there is a difference uh, for academic as well as general you all know that we have two uh, types of uh, ielts test that is academic as well as general and the main difference uh, of this two uh, uh, test is uh, one is with the uh, reading that is uh, uh, we have uh, ja uh, reading a uh, different reading for academic as well as general and the other difference uh, is with the writing module where task 1 is different for both uh, academic as well as gen general for general it is letter and for uh, academic it is uh, graph different types of graphs so uh, today um, i am going to focus on reading uh, both uh, academic as well as general so let's start with uh, academics so as you all know that we have different types of questions uh, that we need to come across in our reading module and uh, many people find it difficult also uh, i think reading is one of the modules most of the students uh, uh, like find it very difficult and they are afraid of um, so uh, today uh, we'll uh, give a, i i am trying to give a short review on the uh, reading test which was conducted in the centralized mock test uh, so as i said before uh, we have uh, 40 questions uh, in reading and we need to uh, answer all these 40 questions in 1 hour that means 60 minutes we won't get any extra time to transfer the answers so we need to write the answer in the answer sheet then and there uh, when we get the answer but for listening the case is different we have 30 minutes audio and we get 10 minutes to transfer our answer to the answer sheet so we can write the answers in the question paper during the listening and at the end during the 10 minutes time we can transfer the answers but for reading we don't have that option total 60 minutes that means 1 hour is completely devoted for reading where you need to answer uh, it uh, at that moment itself or that means you need to transfer your answer to the answer sheet at that moment itself now another thing is that you all know uh, in academic reading we have uh, three passages and we need to as i said earlier we need to face 40 questions so we need to uh, divide the time accordingly most of the students find difficulty in uh, completing the reading within 1 hour of course they need to practice it regularly make sure that you uh, while practicing that you complete the, your reading within 1 hour that means you divide your time into 3 uh, 20 minutes for the first passage another 20 minutes for the second passage and final 20 minutes for the uh, third passage so if you can uh, do like this and uh, manage your time definitely and practice it accordingly definitely you can uh, cover uh, this reading uh, test within one hour without any uh, difficulty another thing is uh, like uh, some some students uh, like uh, all the passages won't be uh, same uh for uh, the reading test so some uh, students they spent more time in uh, one passage without noticing the time so that should be controlled we all should always keep an eye on the timer so that we can uh, move on uh, if we find that we are taking a lot of time for one passage that should be practiced during your uh, practice time itself so you need to be very careful about uh, the time uh, especially in reading because most of the students they like when it reaches to uh, towards the end uh, they find it difficult to complete the final passage and they simply opt or maybe select randomly the answers and write the answers so that is why most of the students get uh, low score and if you can see that even while practicing 
the initial uh, uh, answers most of the students uh, they are uh, used to uh, uh, they usually say that initial uh, answers are usually uh, would be correct for them but when they goes to the uh, uh, other passage and final passage they find it difficult um, it's purely because uh, they run out of time and they would uh, come in a panic situation where they find it very difficult uh, to find the answer so presence of mind is equally important uh, to get the answers correct another thing what i have noticed uh, the general thing in reading is that most of the students they forget reading the instructions so reading instructions is very very important because that gives an idea what we need to do with that passage so for example if the uh, uh, instruction is said that you need to uh, write uh, only one word then you should only uh, you, the answer should be only in one word and if it says that two words and or a number then you can have uh, like not more than two words and or a number then you can have either two words or one word or you can also have two words and uh, a number so that should be uh, uh, like um, written carefully uh, for that we need to read the instructions very very carefully very important uh, thing that uh, most of the students because after doing two three practices the students find uh, think that yes i know uh, what it is all written in it is a common thing so they may uh, not read it but that practice uh, should be done from the beginning till uh, the uh, date of your exam because uh, that can uh, sometimes create problems and even if the uh, you, you find the answer your answer may go wrong simply because you didn't write two and two words or um, you uh, for one word if you write two words then it uh, the answer may go wrong so that is another uh, very important thing then another thing uh, is um, you all know that we need to face different types of questions in reading test so uh, um, there uh, can be true false not given yes no not given list of headings fill ups or gap filling uh you need to find the paragraph which contains the following information you also need to uh, match the uh, uh, sentences they may give a sentence and uh, uh, incomplete sentence and the rest of the uh, sentence should be completed by selecting it from a box so the, there are different types of questions that you uh, come across in reading and many students find difficulty in different types of question like for example some students may find difficulty in true false not given uh, uh, but the other uh, other few uh, find difficulty in uh, doing list of headings or even some people find uh, difficulty in fill, uh, fill ups too but i believe that fill ups is the uh, most easiest part in reading which uh, all can uh, uh, secure the marks very easily so um, so let's move on to the uh, each uh, type of questions that was asked for the centralized mock test so uh, before moving on i would like to add on one more thing like as i said before that there are different types of questions in reading but these questions can be solved easily if we follow a method like each type of question has a method that we can follow so that we can reach the answer very quickly and accurately so i i would like to go through uh, some of those methods uh, today very quickly so uh, please be attentive now in this uh, uh, academic reading you can see the heading was 100 days of reform it's very important that we read the heading also because while re uh, reading the heading we get an idea about the passage or we we can come to know that what the passage is going to talk about so um, reading the passage heading some of the students sometimes may not see the uh, title itself but it's very important that you uh, read the title so that you get, get an idea about the passage then of course uh, move on to the questions initially before reading the passage that is uh, the thing first thing i would like to say because even if we read the passage once when we reach the question we have to read it again so that is a, a kind of wasting time so instead of that you can uh, move to the first question but uh, you need to read the instructions um, primarily okay so here you can say uh, see that question 1 to 4 where uh, the type of question is mc quiz or multiple choice question the question um, asks choose the correct letter a b c or d write your answers in boxes 1 to 4 on your answer sheet 
So, this clearly says that we have to write the letters only not any words. So, that is very clear uh, clearly said in the instruction which we need to be pay attention to. Next, you can see there are four multiple choice question and uh, now I am going to discuss a method in uh, finding uh, how to find this uh, multiple choice questions very easily. Most of the students they even find uh, difficulty in this type of question too. Uh, many students have come to me uh, requesting to give them uh, um, uh, tips and tricks to solve this type of question. So, I would like to say uh, more than tips and tricks I would like to share the method uh, to solve this type of question. So, first, may I, firstly you need to read the question that means the first question you need to read and you need to underline the keywords that is another point we need to underline the keywords. Now, how, what do you mean by underlining the keywords? Underlining the keywords means avoiding the prepositions uh, or the grammatical part there you just need to underline the main words in that sentence and at the same time you need to understand or comprehend the meaning of that sentence or the questions it very very important and after uh, understanding the question you need to move to the sub questions usually you you get uh, four sub questions and sometimes that can be short and sometimes that can be long so even if it uh, whether it is short or long you can apply this method to ta uh, tackle this question so then move on to the options read the options one by one Along with that, you need to underline the keywords and comprehend even the sub questions. Once you have done this, uh, you need to, uh, that means the half uh, is done. Next, you need to go back to the passage and you need to uh, see, uh, you need to check the, uh, with the uh, keywords and locate where that part is talking about. So, that means using that question you can locate the uh, answer in the passage or the sentence or the statement in the passage. Then you need to read that sentences. You while reading the sentence you can also underline the keywords here and understand it. The, simply um, uh, not like if you get the keyword here or if you get the synonym here that is going to be the answer. In fact, you need to read and understand that uh, couple of sentences given there and uh, match it and then you again go back to the question and rule out. This is the important thing that you need to do in multiple choice question. You need to rule out that means you need to read the first option, see that whether that matches with the uh, meaning of the sentence given there. If, if it is not then put a wrong mark there. Then read the second uh, option, see whether if it is matches with the meaning of that uh, statement given in the passage, then if it is not put a wrong mark and if it is yes, you, you found out the answer. So, this method will definitely help you to find the uh, answers in multiple choice which most of the fi students find difficulty. So, same way you can move to the next, que next question. So, here also I would suggest do not ever read all the questions in beginning and the sub questions actually that is again a waste of time because once you finish the first question again you need to move to the second question. So, again you need to read it. So, do not uh, uh, read the questions or all the uh, questions uh, in the beginning itself you need to go one by one. So, you repeat this process again with the next question you can see that you need to read the sentence, underline the keywords, understand the uh, meaning of that question, go through all the sub questions, uh, all the four sub questions, underline the keyword, understand it. Now, half is done, go back to the passage, find out where this uh, uh, statement or question is located, read a couple of sentences there, understand the meaning of it and then come back to the answer and start that uh, rule out method. Check whether the first answer matches, if yes you got the answer without wasting any time you move to the next question and repeat the process again. So, this is one of the best method uh, I would say to find the answers for MCQs. Hope it is clear to all. Next you can see 5 to 13. Uh, another set of question was to complete the sentences below about the reading passage. Okay. So, the instruction given is choose your answers from the box below and write them in 5 to 13 on your answer sheet. There are more choices than spaces so you will not use them all. So, it is clear from the instruction that we need to 
uh, choose it from the box. So, it is already uh, uh, written in uh, letters you can see uh, different letters are given for different uh, 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 phrases. So, you only need to choose that letter and you only need to write those letter letters as answers in the answer sheet. So, here uh, this is another type of question uh, most of the students uh, find difficulty choosing from the box of course, because here uh, we need to use uh, the uh, technique of um, you know, um, uh, synonym and um, it is very important that all should have enough um, knowledge in a synonym that means uh, more words. Um, uncommon words or uh, the different meanings of the same word, different words that can be used in the same place. So, we need to have that list of vocabularies which uh, I think most of the trainers in all the branches of BMAX, uh, they request the students to collect as many vocabularies they can uh, as soon as they join uh, for the class. I do not know uh, how uh, many students do that, but now doing that will definitely help you to solve these type of questions very quickly. Okay. Now, let us move on. Uh, now, uh, you can see that here uh, questions uh, sentences are given here and you need to complete these sentences uh, uh, from uh, and you need to complete it using uh, the uh, phrases given in the box. So, here uh, uh, of course, when you read the uh, sentence, you need to underline the keywords and here keywords play a pivotal role because you need to go to the uh, passage and find out or locate the keywords. Here keywords plays a very important role than comprehending it. Of course, comprehending is important or we, comprehension should be done, but the initial stages you need to locate this with the keywords. And then you need to read the sentence. Once you have located it, then you need to read the sentence. And the main part is you come back and search for the synonym. That is very, very important. This is unlike from fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks are gap filling. You can take the answer from the passage. You need to write the exact word from the passage and you can write it here. But here, here comes the importance of uh, understanding synonyms because once we get or locate the answer in the passage, we understood it. Now, we need to come back and see uh, that that um, uh, phrase uh, which uh, among these A to N is that phrase. For that, of course, you need to know synonyms and the meaning of the words given in that passage. So, IELTS is totally based on uh, knowing more about the language than your intellect intelligence. So, here most important is you need to uh, understand the uh, you know the different words and its synonyms rather than uh, thinking it very intellectually. So, here uh, uh, the crucial uh, uh, thing is uh, finding out the uh, meanings or the synonym of the words from the passage so that you can quickly uh, identify which can be the answer. So, usually this is a tricky one because usually in the box usually they give the synonym of the answer. So, it is very very important that you uh, you need to uh, from today onwards learn uh, or collect list of words or increase your vocabulary list so that you can solve these type of questions very quickly. So, this should be done with all the uh, t other type of questions till 13 that you need to read the sentence, underline the um, keywords, go back to the passage, find out or locate the sentence, read that. Now, you need to come back and find the synonyms that is very, very important. So, here uh, like and this uh, now that we have completed a reading passage 1 and you need to make sure that you complete this within 20 minutes because if you take more than 20 minutes you are like losing your time and when you reach the final passage you, you will be in a hurry to finish this uh, uh, reading module and there you find it very difficult. So, you need to make sure that you uh, finish it uh, tw within 20 minutes or if it is easy type of question make sure that you finish a bit early so that you can save time some time for difficult passages. Now, let us move on to the second passage you all know that the second uh, passage uh, is uh, you can read the title it says sleep apnea. So, you understood like what this passage is going to talk about. So, reading as I said earlier reading the title is very very important. Now, let us move on to the question number 14 to 18 and here it is says the passage describes three different types of sleep apnea which of the characteristics below 
belongs to the uh, belongs to uh, type of uh, it belongs to which type of sleep apnea in boxes 14 to 18 in your answer sheet write any of these three so here also it can be seen that a b c is written so that means we need to write the letters in the answer sheet not the uh, words so you can see there are three different uh, sleep apneas given obstructive sleep apnea central sleep apnea and mixed sleep apnea so you need to find and then you can see the question questions uh, are from 14 to 18 and you can see that first uh, sentence or the qu question number 14 talks about a, uh, 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 you can see it is uh, its root cause uh, its roots cause is a blockage at the trachea so they are giving a uh, cause uh, for that uh, uh, you know the uh, sleep apnea so so we need to find which sleep apnea uh, has that problem so now uh, how to so find this type of question of course you need to uh, see if you go for obstructive sleep apnea in the pa passage you can see that there would be the n number of times uh, it's written or different times or different places you can see ob obstructive sleep apnea would be written there and you you may find it difficult to find the answer or you um, more than difficulty you may have you may have to take more uh, time for finding out the answer so instead of that it would be better you uh, go with the uh, keywords like that means if the question number 14 says its root cause is a blockage at the trachea so you need to underline the keywords root cause blockage trachea so now you understood that now go back to the passage find where these are talking about about trachea uh, trachea is blockage and the root cause then you need to say see that uh, about which sleep apnea is they are talking about and you come here carefully see which one uh, is whether it is a b or c and write the answer in the answer sheet so it is very very important so as i said earlier keywords plays a very crucial role in identifying the answer but but not just keywords can will not help you to find out the answer these will let you or help you to locate the answers very quickly so that you can reach to the correct answer very easily so you need to follow this step in the next questions that means from 15 to 18 to find the answer to such type of questions now let's move on to the uh, next uh, question that is 19 to 23 yes here comes true false not given which is uh, you know uh, like most of the students are, are like are very afraid of the uh, uh, true false not given i would say like all the students are afraid of true false not given yes no not given uh, so and and you can see if we can take a trend these days um, you can see a minimum of two t a set of true false or yes no not given would be there in your um, reading module so the, here also we have a, a method uh, that we can apply to find this answer very quickly and 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 to be more precise we can say that most of the students find difficulty in uh, false and like uh, understanding false and not given now here also i'm going to give you a not a tip rather than tip i say i always uh, try to give the method to solve the, this type of question so which would be easy for you now um, first of all we need to understand like uh, what is true false and not given true what uh, what does it it's already you can see uh, it's there in the uh, question itself if the statement is true according to the passage if the statement is uh, uh, the statement matches with the uh, uh, sentences in the passage then it is true false if the statement contradicts the passage you know i don't think the students would read the sentence that's why most of the students find it difficult to true false they themselves are given giving the hint that means contradict the passage so what does contradict mean opposite so if the statement is um, saying the opposite of what is said in the passage then of course it is false now not given if there is no information about uh, the statement in the in the passage so if they are not uh, talking um, uh, exactly uh, about this passage uh, about this statement in the passage then it is not given now why it is like most of the fine people find difficulty in find recognizing false and not given only because they don't understand what exactly false is false may, may most of the students if it is not if it is not there it is false no false means as they have clearly said contradicts 
that means opposite. For example, if a sentence is given there and then you go there and see and uh, if it is the opposite uh, and then uh, uh, the meaning is the opposite to what is said in the passage, then it would be false. I repeat opposite, opposite then it is false or if the information is given there but not exactly, we cannot assume and say that it can, it can be false. So, if the statement is not talking much about that, but then the statement is there in the passage, then it would be not given. And if the statement and the, uh, the sentence in the passage matches, it would be uh, true. That is very, very important. For example, I will take an example, um, like we do not have, I guess I, we need to uh, do with, uh, deal with that uh, general reading also, but I am, I will uh, discuss the first question of this type. You can see question number 19. Sleep apnea only affects men over 40. So, first you need to underline the keywords. So, which are the keywords there? Sleep apnea only okay, affects men over 40. So, that means what, what does it, that mean? That means that um, sleep apnea only affects people, uh, especially men and who are uh, who have more than uh, 40 uh, years old or who are uh, more than 40 years of uh, age. Now, let us move on to the passage and see where they are talking about the uh, age. Okay? So, if we can see that uh, uh, first, second and third paragraph, you can see in the first sentence, uh, sleep apnea is associated with a number of risk factors including being overweight, male and over the age of 40. So, here they are uh, talking about three factors, right, which are the three factors they are talking about, uh, overweight uh, and the person should be male and the person should be, if the person is over 40, um, age of 40. So, if these three conditions come to, together, then uh, like you can say sleep ap apnea, like it is having, uh, the, these are the risk factors of having sleep apnea. But what does this uh, sentence say? It clearly says that only affects men over 40, only. That means, here the statement is saying only one factor, that is if the, if the, if, if it is a man, if the person is a man and if that person is over 40 then he can uh, have the risk factor of sleep apnea. That is what the sentence says. But here in the passage, it is clearly saying that not only uh, the person should be uh, more than 40 uh, years of age, the person can be man uh, and it can also be, uh, the person should uh, can also have overweight. So, three factors are. So, it is clearly the opposite, right? Here they say only one factor, but they are saying three factors. So, it is opposite and that is why it is false. Some uh, people, uh, people may write because um, it's, it is true because if you can see male is there, then age 40 is there. So, the uh, synonyms matches, so they can mis, uh, interpret and they can write it as true. But this is false because, because the, that was, there was only one word which uh, can uh, be distracted like that is only. It is clearly said only here in the uh, question. So, that is why that answer is false. I hope it is clear and this method you need to follow to find a true false not given and definitely it would be easy for you. So, I would uh, like repeat the uh, method that you need to follow. First, you need to underline the keywords, understand the meaning. I again repeat, understand the meaning of the sentence. Now, go back to the passage and find out where the uh, statement is located using the keywords, but the, here the answer is not, we did not get the answer. Again, we need to match the uh, meaning of this sentence with the meaning of the uh, question and if it is same, then it can be true. If it contradicts or says the opposite, it is false. And if the statement is there, but give not giving much information about exactly what the statement in the question, then the answer is not given. So, please do follow this method in true, false, not given as well as yes, no, not given uh, to find the answers very quickly. Now, let us move on to 24 to 27. There, uh, complete the sentence below that does fill up. Uh, I, I think uh, the, such type of questions 
uh, uh, not much difficult for all the students that can be easy. Uh, so here, uh, but still I will uh, uh, discuss the method to uh, find the answers for this type of questions too. Here uh, of course, here also, see as I said synonyms plays a very important role. Here also you need to read the sentence, underline the keywords, go and locate the answer, uh, the uh, passage, uh, locate the sentence in the passage and here the, um, uh, the most important thing is you should take the uh, words from the passage and clear it. You should not um, like you cannot, you cannot make any changes to the words. If the S is there, you need to write the S here and if it S is not there, you should not write the S here. That should be taken exactly from the passage and the word, the answer should be written exactly uh, as uh, it is given in the passage. So that is very, very important. So here also the method is, I, I would repeat, read the first question. So here is 24th one is the first question, you need to read it, underline the keywords, move on to the passage find out where this sentence is talking about and um, understand the meaning and you will from there you will get the answer write the same words from the uh, passage uh, in the answer okay so you can also see choose uh, the instruction choose more than four words uh, sorry no more than four words from the passage for each answer from the passage you need to find the answers from the passage you should you cannot alter it or you cannot assume and write the answer so it is very much clear that uh, so so the for this type of question the spellings also should not be go wrong because you are taking from the passage even there are students who commit mistakes even if they take from the uh, passage so that is very very important uh, because even spelling mistakes can cost you mark so uh, you need to be very careful when you take the answer from the passage uh, the uh, spelling should not go wrong okay so by the time we finished two passages and we are moving on to the third passage so the heading of the passage is adult intelligence so here uh, it is uh, very much clear from the title uh, that this passage is going to talk about uh, the intelligence or brilliance of adults okay now let's move on to the here also i would say whenever you get a passage directly move to the question so 28 to 34 again you need to complete the sentences below about uh, the reading passage choose your answers from the box below and write them in boxes 28 to 34 on your answer sheet there are more choices than sentences so you will not use them all so that is also given there we have more um, answers here so we don't want to take all the answers uh, we need to take it accordingly whichever we needed so this also you can uh, use the same uh, strategy as i discussed earlier where synonyms are very very important because we need to read the first question underline the keywords locate it in the passage and we need to understand the meaning of it come back to the uh, to the box and here usually you will get the synonym not the exact word here you will not get the exact word from the passage but in fact it would be the synonym that is the challenging part of this type of question so here they are uh, testing your synonym see as i always say they are not testing your knowledge but in fact they are testing your uh, language or vocabulary list or the proficiency in language so you need to uh, have a list long list of vocabularies which will help you to solve this questions very easily these type of questions very easily now you can see another true false so nowadays as i said earlier uh, reading uh, passages uh, nowadays contains three or more uh, sets of uh, true false and that is why the question is set accordingly uh, so uh, so that you will get an idea how the uh, main uh, exam would be so it is typically a uh, you know a model of the main exam um, it's clearly nowadays in um, for the last when we uh, when we take it the list of headings uh, type of question was very less but in fact maybe two or three set of true or false can be seen in the uh, uh, reading question so it's very very important that give you give more attention to true false try these type of questions more or more practice these type of questions more uh, approach your trainers uh, to give you more information to uh, about solving this type of question and do more practice to find the answer finally one question that you need to choose again uh, the correct letter a to c and write in the box 40 
that means a question is given and based on the question that three options are given multiple choice and you need to find it from the passage and this is going this is simple because you don't want to read long uh, the options are very small so it is easy for you to find so altogether i, I would say uh, this um, centralized mock test reading academic was not a hard one uh, it, it can be said uh, easy to moderate where it has covered all type of questions uh, which can come for the real ILDS and it exactly depicts the uh, model of the real IELTS uh, reading uh, pattern. So this uh, by this we completed the academic module and let us move on to the general module. Okay, so uh, compare uh, with the uh, comparing to the academic uh, reading, the main difference uh, is that the passages are a bit uh, like you know easier to read. Here, if they use more complex and compound sentences and more complex words, here they use somewhat simple words. Here, in uh, reading aca academic reading, if they talk about more academics as well as research. Uh, type of question here they usually discuss uh, day to day uh, activities. So, it will comparing to the academic this reading can be general reading can be bit more easier uh, uh, you can comprehend it a bit more easily and the passages would won't, won't be too long. But in passage 1 in section 1 itself you can see maybe 2 or uh, 2 uh, some small passages uh, where in uh, uh, reading you can see long passages section 1 or section 2 or section 3 may have long passages but whereas in general you can see small passages but maybe in section 1 2 here you can see section 1 2 passages at the same time section 3 also uh, section 2 also 2 passages and section 3 uh, just one long passages uh, and one long passage and here also the paragraph is also not uh, as long as the uh, one in the academic reading so that you can read it uh, very quickly and comprehend it also very quickly. So that is the positive part of general but the negative part is that if you score 20 um, 9, 28 to 29 in reading you may get 6.5 band but whereas in general uh, even if you scored 27 you only get uh, 6 band score 27, 28 you will only get 6 band score. So that is the main difference in academic reading and uh, general reading. Uh, general reading is comparatively easy but uh, to uh, if you want to secure a good band score you need to uh, have more correct answers than the academic reading. Okay, now without wasting time let us move on to the each type of question. Now, uh, though the, uh, my, the you know the, uh, uh, the comprehensive uh, part is easy like uh, when compared to academic reading, the type of questions and the method to solve this type of questions are similar. So, the one which you have used in this academic reading, the same method you can use it in for general reading too, there is no much difference though the, the main difference is the you know the um, uh, marks or the, uh, the band score. You need to score more um, and you need to um, have more uh, correct answers to secure a very good band score um, apart from this academic reading. But the method used to, to solve the type of questions are similar for um, academic as well as general. Okay. Now, here you can see uh, as I said earlier you can see that section 1 uh, contains uh, first passage is um, music club and uh, uh, for that you, uh, in section 1 you have 1 to 14 questions and the first passage is music clubs and in that uh, uh, from that passage you, you need to write 1 to 8 answers. Uh, you will get uh, you need to find 1 to 8 answers from that passage along with that it has got one uh, sub uh, passage also that is biological research institute where you need to uh, uh, find the answers uh, uh, for the question 9 to 14. So, altogether section 1 has got 1 to 14 answers but this section 1 has got 2 passages. So, 1 to 8 questions you need to find it from the music clubs and 9 to 14 you need to find the answers from biological research institute. So, that is actually easy because you only need to read very less you do not want to read long passages. So, here you can see the first question 1 to 8 is look at the 4 advertisements of music clubs in a town called uh, uh, with A and A to D in uh, page 86. 
for which club are the following statements true so there are a few statements are given you can see uh, one to eight statements are given and you need to find which statement is true for uh, uh, like which type of music club and you can say this is somewhat similar to uh, the question of uh, find the uh, uh, paragraph which contains the following information so we can use that method to but compare um, comparatively it's not that like it's bit easy um, than the academic or that type of question that you find in uh, academic reading here you need to of course first of all as i said you need to go to the question read the question first underline the keywords and you need to move um, to the passage locate so here uh, you need to read uh, maybe the answer won't be in the first pa paragraph sometimes it can be in the second paragraph so you need to read or locate the keywords and read and understand and then you can find the paragraph so here <coughs> it can be useful also because for example if the qu first question um, uh, and if the uh, and here the answer is c so that means you have already read b a b and c so that when the next question follows and if the answer is in the a paragraph it would be easy for you to find because you have already read that paragraph so this uh, type of question apart from the reading uh, is comparatively easy uh, but uh, as i said you need to uh, give importance to the keywords because that will help you to locate the sentence but then you need to read that complete maybe one or two sentences to find out the answer and make sure that this is the answer or this is the paragraph which or uh, this is the music club which that um, a statement is talking about okay so i uh, hope you understood how to find that uh, type of answer next let's move on to 9 to 14 and here it is fill up so another easy type of question where you need you really need to take the answer from the passage and write it here you cannot write it on your own for example the question is complete the sentence below choose one word only from the text for each answer so you have to find you have you only have to write one word as the answer so uh, as i said you need to read the sentence underline the keywords locate it in the uh, passage then read this uh, sentence carefully and find out that one particular word as the answer so as the instruction says only one word you can only write one word not more than that and it should be exactly as it is in the passage you you cannot modify it so if the first answer is security so you need to write security you you cannot add s or you cannot add, um, uh, 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 remove s from that question um, from the answer at the same time since you are taking it from the passage you need to make sure that your spelling is correct so um, very very important you check for your spelling so by this we complete the reading uh, section one general reading section one where we had uh, two small uh, passages L now let's move on to the section two here the uh, heading says negotiating a better salary package for your new job so from the title itself it's very much clear what this passage is talk going to talk about and here also you can see from uh, like 8 15 to 20 you need to answer it from this passage whereas the uh, uh, and uh, there is another passage a um, uh, small passage given there where you need to answer 21 to 27 so here also in section 2 you can see there are two small different passages and this is divided so that uh, you, you only need to read less when compared to the academics. Definitely this will help you to find the answers more accurately and um, uh, avoid that simple uh, mistake such as uh, um, uh, if you avoid reading the instructions such mistakes can happen uh, and also avoid spelling errors that can also um, cost you mark. So here also this is an, an, another set of fill up where you need to read the question, underline the keywords, uh, locate in the passage, read the sentence and take the answer and write in the um, um, answer sheet. Here also you need to take the answer from the passage. So the answer, uh, the spelling, you should not uh, go wrong with the spelling. You need to write the correct spelling as well as you should not add S or remove ES from the word because you need to take it from the passage itself. Now let's move on to the next uh, small passage. Uh, there you can see they have numbered it. 
uh, that means how to run a successful project so there are it, it is a uh, you know it is a process uh, and here uh, the question you can see it is somewhat like a flow chart so you you from this itself it is very much clear that it uh, uh, it would be the first step then comes the second step then third so it is easy for you to hear also see these three uh, set of questions are fill ups so that means you can easily uh, find the answers you can easily find the answers you can see from 9 to 14 uh, as well as 15 to 20 and from 21 to 27 are uh, fill ups so uh, i would say this uh, uh, is easy because you just have to uh, take the answer from the passage and you need to write it in the answer sheet so here you will not go you will not your spelling won't go wrong because you are taking it from the passage so that is another you know positive thing where you can secure good mark because some sometimes uh, some of the uh, uh, students um, you know uh, even though they get the correct answer they write wrong spelling and uh, it will cost mark so this uh, fill up is actually a uh, good you can say a positive where you can secure good marks then moving on to 31 uh, in next the final passage uh, it is section 3 there it is a bit longer passage but the paragraphs are short so that is another important advantage you can see the you can see here you can see a to h paragraphs are there but the paragraphs are short so that you can read it very quickly okay mass appeal of the mantra race so that's what the passage talks about and here you you another advantage or the positive thing is only one two three five true false question so uh, seeing this itself most of the students would be happy because you only have to uh, face the dangerous question uh, maybe only five questions or i think six questions so here also as i said earlier there is no difference in the method the method that you have used in academic sol to solve the true false not given the same method you need to use it here also to solve it uh, so you as i said earlier you need to read the sentence underline the uh, uh, keywords go back to the passage locate the answer using the keyword and then uh, uh, you need to under, uh, understand the meaning of the sentences in the passage then match it with the meaning so you need to match the meaning of the uh, question as well as the match the uh, match it with the uh, sentence in the passage see if it is uh, if both the uh, sentence says exactly the same thing then it is going to be true if it is contradicts as i said earlier if it is saying the opposite of it then it is going to be false and if the statement is saying uh, said there but not doesn't give much information about what it is said in the question then it is not given so please follow this strategy to find the answers more accurately for true false not given again finally 37 to 40 is another set of fill in the blanks and here also you only need to write one word only so usually i think i believe that when there is only one word it is more easy to find the answers because you that the answers may strike very quick easily but but you need to understand the sentence and of course you need to uh, underline the keywords and uh, locate in the passage that is very very important once you locate it read the sentence find out that one word and for fill up another important thing is you need to see that those words grammatically fill, fill, uh, fit in that uh, uh, place so if that sentence is not if that word not does not grammatically fit in you must understand that that, uh, that cannot be the right answer so that is another uh, hint for you so uh, for uh, especially for fill in the blanks if you take question answers from the passage you need to make sure that it grammatically fit in in, in each space and if it is not grammatically correct then you you might have uh, find out a wrong answer you need to go and uh, search for the right one so with this we completed the uh, the reading uh, general module also uh, general reading also hope you all understood uh, to tackle the different types of questions and um, and this was this is going to be the uh, like exact model to the uh, for the uh, real IELTS exam. Uh, so uh, those who have uh, attended this centralized mock test, 
uh, you will find it very easy uh, to attend the uh, 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 real examination. Uh, but uh, most importantly, you need to have the presence of mind while attending the exam. At the same time, you need to be, uh, you know, you have the, you should have the confidence and you need to have the peace of mind, especially while read uh, doing the reading exam. You need to make yourself cool, calm. Uh, you can drink water just before uh, you start your reading and uh, you, you need to relax while doing this reading. So, that, that is another thing that, that, that it will help you to uh, get more correct answers. So, thank you. Uh, this is uh, all about uh, reading mod module. Hope it was beneficial to all. Thank you so much. Thank you BMAX for providing an opportunity to give uh, 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 the detailed description of uh, reading module. Thank you so much. Thank you all.